Good morning, chat. Good to see you all back. And welcome to High Rise City, a game that has a free demo right now on Steam that I was going to play as a free demo today, but the developers sent over a free key about a month early. It's coming out uh, in March of 2022, uh, comes out March 24th. So we're, yeah, about a, exactly a month ahead of time. Um, I don't know what will change between now and the next month. The devs probably will find a lot of bugs and things to fix from all the demo people and make the game a little bit better before launch. Months a pretty, you know, early time to check out a game, so lucky us. So thanks to them for sending over a early access key, as I was just going to play the demo for free. But you can play the demo for free today if you'd like to. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're listening to some City, uh, Sim City 2013 music. Boy, oh boy. Do I miss SimCity 2013? But I'm glad that um, more and more city builders are being made because I think we need a little bit more than just, um, you know, city skylines. I think some other games like Cities in Motion and Tropico and uh, even Transport Fever to a certain extent are fantastic city builders. So they're good times. What's this game got for in-game music? Nothing? Oh. Ah, we'll keep listening to the SimCity music then. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wait a minute. There's their tunes. Wow, look at that. There's all, all the people who are playing the demo have almost equaled 2 billion people playing. Awesome. Um, let's take a look here. So, currently... Oh, some of this stuff is coming soon. It says it's the demo, but we should be playing the full press version right now. Uh, looks like we can do Cape Town, South Africa, or New York. And then this says it's a demo, but I'm pretty sure I'm playing on the uh, full version here. Oh, I've been to Nagoya before. Nagoya, Japan, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Cape Town, Naples, Hong Kong. Go again, Vancouver and Manhattan, I assume. Yeah, there's Manhattan Island right there, or a, a peninsula. Cool. Um, this game seems to focus a little bit more on resources than just money. We've also played City State 2 recently, so it seems to be a game that plays a little bit like City Skylines, but tries to focus a little bit more on like the import-export manufacturing type stuff. And we, we've taken a look at this game before on the channel too, uh, about a, la uh, a year ago or so. Um, so there's been some changes since then. I'm assuming what this is right now is that these are all based on real-world locations, so the landscape will look like how it does in Vancouver or New York. But I'm wondering if there'll be like some sort of auto-generator or something like that. Cape Town? I think we should build in Cape Town. That sounds pretty, pretty nice, actually. Manhattan's cool and all, or, well, New York, but specifically more of the Manhattan area. This game seems to also start really small like City Skylines does, where you get that little square at the start, but I think there's a way to expand. So in the New York map, you start like on Manha like Manhattan in, in the borough there, and it'll probably be the same with the Goyan stuff. Uh, let's see, I want to make sure that I'm not playing like a demo version, although I am pretty sure. The game's like 30 gigs too, so it's a, it's a beefy boy. Let me just make sure I got the press version active. Yeah, preview build uh, is what's active right now. Uh, preview build, press branch, or press preview branch. Okay, so some things are still demo, some things are like full. They probably haven't finished some of the maps, but I'm sure, like, most of the gameplay elements are there. All right, let's go build in Cape Town. Uh, let's see. Oh, it shows you also water. Okay. So we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the industrial side, which is kind of cool. That's probably one of my favorite things about City Skylines. And, like, when it comes to City Skylines, for those of you guys who ask, like, oh, what mods do you recommend for that? Or what DLCs do you recommend? Um, yeah, definitely, like, three must-have DLCs for me for City Skylines that I don't feel like I can live without anymore is, like... Um, Probably the Industries DLC, the Mass Transit DLC, and the um, Industries, Mass Transit, and, well, like the airport one now, but um, airports are pretty cool too. But yeah, those those three for sure now. Yeah, I have to update my list. Um, yeah, so let's see. Cape Town, so we can see water, wood, clay, iron ore, copper ore, coal, quartz, gold, gems, and lithium. Ooh, so we can export a lot of stuff, including an absolute crazy amount of copper and pretty good amounts of iron ore, too, and coal and quartz. Wow. Uh, Cape Town is one of the largest cities in South Africa, and apparently <laughs> apparently, South Africa is now called South Africa and uh, is the capital of the Western Cape province and is the core town of the city of, uh, of Cape Town Metro uh, Metropolitan Municipality, 
Uh, Cape Town got its name from the Cape of Good Hope, which lies about 45 kilometers to the south and was a major threat on the sea to India. Major threat? You mean like the southern... You'd think that'd be more of a landmark than a threat, right? Like you, you, It'd probably be a good thing to see uh, Cape Hope because then... Um, or Good Hope, Cape of Good Hope, because then you actually... You'd know that you can now start going <laughs> west or east... Or west, depending on which way you're going. You know you were, like, as far south as you had to go. Um, let's see what the other cities have for supply. Rio de Janeiro has a ton of copper. Naples has a ton of copper. Are they all kind of the same? Oh, okay. For now, it looks like they're all kind of the same. At least in terms of supply. But there's a lot of water, too, which is going to be an important thing to actually ship out all of our goods. So that's good, I guess. All right, let's found a new city in Cape Town. Roll the dice and call it whatever we want. All right, I'm going to go ahead and name it. Let's see, Rap, Rap, Raptor. Uh, city name. I think we need a good... Uh, should we call it Memberville? Oh, we... Oh, we're very close to our member goal, by the way, today, too. I've uh, kept it updated so I can do some more giveaways. So... Uh, for those of you who haven't yet become a member, I'm going to start hammering down on these member goals. we got about a month till my uh, birthday, so what I want to do is let's celebrate my birthday early. Every uh, single live stream that we do before now and my birthday, I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys, for everybody, if we hit our member goal. And that's everybody who's on our Discord. So everybody's welcome onto the Discord for free. Link's down below in the description. And if we hit our member's goal, if it happens to happen... I'm going to drop some more keys for you guys. If it happens, great. If not, you know, it's all good. I got plenty of stuff to give away. And so maybe we can do some more of this. I have some other city builders to give away too. So yeah, March birthday, Brandon. Yep, March 23rd. So less than a month now. You want me to call it Eggton? Let's see. Um, Scramble Toria. Hmm, Pizza Town. That's a good one. Um, I want to give it a good, like I want, it, I want it to sound something other than Raptoria or Raptor City or something. Something cool. Got to be cool. Hmm. Yeah, typos on playable, yeah. Well, you know, I think a lot of these are from devs who aren't actually native English speakers, so some things are translated through, like, a auto-translator. And then, um, you know, once they're auto-translated, they just copy and paste it back into there. Oh, no. Barabelle? Oh, God. We should call it... Should we call it the Grizzly Coast? <laughs> Uh, po po polar, polar town. Um, boy, yeah, we got to call it something bare. So they call it Cape Town. Hmm. Cape of Bear. Okay. The Grizzly Cape. Uh, I like that idea. Bear. Hold on, let me turn on some music. I want some city back. There we go. Um, bear, uh, cape. cape, cape grizzly. Cape grizzly sounds like it would be in like Alaska or something like that, you know? Alaska has like a ton of things that are just named like bear, beaver, pine, you know? Or uh, what do they call it? Like the, the Yukon? Sometimes there's things named after the Yukon, too. Barrington? Cape Barrington? Oh, my God. All right, that might be a good one here. Wait, is that Bearing... Oh. Barrington. Uh, all right, that's a winner. Cape Barrington. Yeah, okay. Let's go. All right, game settings. Uh, let's just go easy to see what the game has to offer. Oh, we start with supplies, too. Oh, we... Oh, I love that. Okay, so we actually have to build our city with actual materials. I want more games to be ballsy like this, too. Like how uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic is like, Oh, you want to build a train station? Well, 
The materials aren't just going to magically appear. Like you have to, you have to pay for the transportation. You have to pay for the construction. Gravel and and soil has to be either delivered or moved out of there. More games need to um, be ballsy, like uh, workers and resources, because like you have to manage the power grid. And not only do you just have to produce enough power, you got to build like. Um, um, you know, tra transformers and like substations and stuff like that. I want more games to be like that because, like, that's really how to build like a, you know, a city nowadays. It's not just lay out some roads and then zone it uh, residential, um, and then everything magically connects together. Although that is what makes uh, City Skylines fun too. Is a lot of it's about road management and looking pretty, which is uh, that's a hard thing to do, man. To manage all those city services of like bike lanes. Um, sewer systems, power grids, and then of course, oh, but also make it look pretty. Like that's a, that's a hard thing to do. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. I hope you're doing good as well. Thanks for tuning in, Karen. You're from uh, Cape Town. Well, we're I, well now. You're from uh, Cape Barrington, so welcome aboard. Let's just make things super super easy, just so we can see like everything that it has to offer. Then, with a little restriction. Then, once we've learned how to play, I guess we can up the ante and make things a little more challenging. Since the game is also kind of unfinished right now. I want to listen to SimCity music. I'm in a SimCity mood today. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a half and half. Would you look at that? Actually, hold on. I want to test something in the chat and see if this works. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Career operating radius. Uh, in the buildings menu, the bottom... Oh, that's just like a load screen tip. Okay. Yo, Shane, thanks for the almost two years of being a raptor egg. Welcome to the stream. Wow, we have a tiny area to start in. But I'm assuming... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, this all looks familiar. <laughs> oh, that's cool. One of the coolest things is uh, this definitely looks familiar because of how I remember seeing it in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. We've taken off from uh, Cape Town a few times in Microsoft Flight Sim, and it is gorgeous, man, to fly around all the uh, landscape here. And out, yeah, oh, beautiful. That's beautiful, man. What, what a cape. What a little harbor. That's gorgeous, man. Absolutely stellar. Okay, um, welcome to High-Rise City Mayor Raptor, welcome to High-Rise City Playtest. Okay, this says it's a playtest, but I'm pretty sure I'm still playing the full game. Because I literally activated the press build and the key. Wait, let me make, let me make absolutely sure. Although it says, it says it on Steam, there seems to be a little bit of a... Steam likes to do this thing where it's like if I have a demo installed and then I try to play the full game, it's like, oh no, dude, you're playing the you're playing the demo. Yep. Says I already. Okay, it says I'm already playing it. Okay. All right. Well, that's just about contacting them for the uh, for any bugs. Thank you for playing High Rise City. We hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. Okay. All right, let's pause. All right, so we're starting in the year 2000. Nice. Let's see. Hmm. The coast looks nice. Okay, um, let's see. Um, so we want to build roads, residential areas, commercial areas. We got to store food. Oh, that's cool. We actually have to set up food and uh, material storage, town hall, warehouse. All right, let's just get lost and see what happens. Looks like we can bend, bend uh, roads, too. We can build curvy roads. Nice. 
Or, f or free build, okay. Nice. Cool. Is that flat, though? Let's try it at the top, make sure. I want to build along the coast, make it look good. Okay, good. All right, let's build along the coastline. Maybe a little further away from the coast. So that'll be like our main main road. Let's do a bendy road. How much are the roads? Well, that was about nine thousand bucks. Wonder if we have options for roundabouts. Uh, maybe later we will. We might have to research them or something like that. Oh, actually, we could build another road there. Was that not square? It looked perfectly square. Oh. It, like, terraformed the land already. Am I the famous raptor? Uh, yeah, I'm like Sweet Baby Ray's. Just as famous and delicious. That is true. That is true. Oh, yes. Thank you. See, that looks to be perfectly parallel along to the other... Yeah, it looks like it's not even going to bother that other section there. But then it gets a little... Oh. Must have something to do with elevation. Oh well. We'll keep trucking. Alright, good. And then we'll build a nice windy, curvy road up here. Maybe we can build smaller ones. Do a mukbang while playing. Chad has all the mukbang in the world. Check out their uh, Hot Pocket Pizza Roll emotes. Bum, 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 bum. Six point six means. Oh, that must be total. Oh, that must mean how many um, kilometers of roadway of that type we've laid out. Okay, that's interesting. Yep. Now it increased to seven point three. Interesting. curvy road here and see what happens. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Okay, 
Okay, that's kind of cool. We should just be able to build a straight road here. Oh, distance too short. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. I guess that looks cool to start. All right, let's try a... Um I guess we'll have to start with power. Small wind turbines are our only option for now. I assume the yellow is probably noise. We rotate? Oh yeah, angle. Okay, that's cool. What? Uh, oh, maybe they have to build. There's probably an animation for them to be built. Okay. Uh, they produce how much power? Looks like they have a construction time. Okay, so when you build stuff in this game, it has to be constructed over time. That provides 2,000 watts? Okay. Hmm. Okay, water. We can build a small water tower. Oh, that also takes uh, materials to build, too. So it'll cost us 500 bucks. It has an upkeep of 200. It'll take two tools and six wood. So what we're going to need is to actually produce those things, too. So we'll have to produce tools and wood as well. That's interesting. So if we keep this forested area alive, we can use this to actually make materials. So instead of just building a city here, we can turn this into a logging area. That'll be interesting. Okay. And what is this? Oh, it's water pipe or big water tower. It ain't even really a water tower. It's kind of more like a... Looks almost like a... Uh, just like a storage thing on like a farm it looks like a like a grain silo hi there Nicola how you doing welcome to the stream all right let's build a pipe here and see what happens Okay, 
Okay, so that puts water into it. Nice. I'm, I'm going to do water just down here. We'll leave this alone until we build like an industrial area. More dedicated. There's a little gap there. I wonder if that's... I wonder if buildings will still have water though if it touches the other areas with water. How much water do we get from that? We get 5,000... I'm going to say liters then. Uh, to unlock more buildings, reach the next milestone. We can't build a warehouse yet? No. Hi there, Chris. Good to see you. You're watching from the UK. Welcome. Good to see you. Okay. So, oh, wait. To zone, we it costs oh, one wood to build. We have 74 wood remaining and 78 tools. So, yeah, we'll definitely need to start yep, with logging, of course. Okay. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yep. That's really neat that we can build the city with the industries that we start with. That's cool. Okay, so let's do... Now I wonder if we need to build power lines. I didn't see it as an option, so it must travel through the roads. Also, it looks like we can do logging outside the city limits, so long as we build within the city limits. Okay. Let's start with, like, two of those. Okay, let's start with some homes. Let's see. Foxy, you love the videos? I love making them, so thanks for being a part of our stream today. Everybody who watches after this stream, by the way, will see your chats, so make sure you say hi to everyone. That's cool. Yeah, I wonder what's too wide. I guess we'll just get a hang of it by trial and error. Get a feel for it. Yeah, the demo version is available on Steam. This seems to be an early preview version. This is a more fuller version of the game, but not yet the full game yet either. So just keep in mind that this will probably be missing a lot of stuff as the game comes out next month. About a month from now, so. Any sort of feedback from the demo, the devs can take into account before releasing it. build over here. Alright, so we can't build anything else. Um, there's a horse. Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay, he's gone now. We can drive vehicles ourselves. You can explore the Cape. Okay. We can just grab a car. 
so there's not enough food or not enough power and water down here. Was there a power line? I don't see power lines. Um, hmm. So this thing is producing water. Wait, now now they have power. Okay. I guess I guess it took a couple minutes for electricity to drive to their house. There must have been must have been pretty busy on the streets. There we go. I wonder why all the uh, buildings are kind of building in a weird triangle pattern. I, I thought they'd be more like this. garbage carrier in reach. Well, we don't have access to that yet. Oh, we can build a... Oh, here we go. Oh, we didn't build farms. We can build a fishing dock. Oh, we gotta feed our people. Okay. Well, wait, is this a fishing farm? Or does this have to be connected to the water? This might be an above ground fish farm. So these guys are producing wood. So we should use it to construct. Oh, we can build a town hall for free. Well, for money. No materials needed. Is it too big to fit there? That looks like the perfect spot. Oh, darn. Uh, no. Okay, so we'll just build that there. I do like how things take a little time to construct, though. I wish city skylines, when you built, like, highways and stuff, I really wish there... You could actually see construction equipment come out, and dump trucks, and like uh, concrete mixers and stuff. That'd be really cool if there was more like animation to the build, you know? Like if you're planning on making a massive uh, highway project, it shouldn't just be, <laughs> you shouldn't be able to pause and unpause and have it pop up. I want it to take time. I want it to take a little time. Oh, beautify the city. Yeah, we can custom layout scenes and stuff. Okay, town hall looks nice. Oh. Uh, well, good luck. If you work at City Hall, you better buy a truck. Oh. And bring a wheelchair. Oh, boy. Well, I can't say I haven't seen that before in City Builders. Okay, so these are full. But I can't build a warehouse. To unlock more buildings, reach the next milestone. We need to reach the star milestone. Population limit, maybe? Oh, we can buy land. Oh, there's our tool to buy land. Okay, yep. We can expand our city. We can expand up the coast if we want to, so that's cool. Yep, so we can definitely make a much bigger city. And we can terraform. Uh, we can build a hospital. Oh, doctor's office. Building material. Food. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh, we can build a port already. That's cool. 
So this is probably a good way for us to import uh, wood and stuff until we can maybe start making it on our own. Ah, oh, thank goodness. A game that trusts you to build first, then add a road later. Yeah, we'll build a little road like that. Okay, so we should be able to import goods. Goods, outgoing gar- Oh, we can actually ship out our garbage. Oh, that's cool. Of course, that'll cost us, but yeah. Ah, yes, thank you, chat. Yes, thank you. Good. All right, so now we can build a fruit farm, clay pit, brick... Oh, okay, so we can start making bricks and exporting those. That's cool. Uh, zone garbage and local garbage collector. Okay, carrier range. All right, let's see what else we can do. We've got a local carrier. That's what they just told us about. Uh, forwarding company. Oh, this is trucking companies. Amen, brother. Tucker hat emote. That's fantastic. Very cool. So let's build a trucking company in town. Oh, maybe we'll build it by the port. Let's do that. Now, now it's starting to come back to me from the demo. So this will send out trucks to go pick up those logs, and then we can start importing or exporting things here. And it looks like we're creating garbage, too. Interesting. Oh, yes, and they only have a small area of effect. Okay. So I wonder if they could be daisy-changed together. So if I build one here... Yeah, our current supply and or income is visible on the screen. It's all, it's all visible on screen. The materials that we have and the materials that are coming in are all visible on screen. I wonder if trucking company A can ship to com company B. Oh, we can buy more vehicles, too, if we want to. Welcome. That's cool. Oh, was that fire? Yo, Chris Shenton. Thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. All right, so it looks like we need to make city streets a lot smaller, a lot more tighter grid. I don't see roundabouts, at least not yet. I do love the fact that we actually have to, like, manufacture stuff to build our city. That's cool. I do like that. Yeah, get those member buses out. I need some, I need some local carriers to go pick up our, our new member. Oh, I see. That's wood being dropped off. Okay. So the local carriers have some sort of storage capacity as well. So now we have 22... So we can continue to increase our city size. We can put like a little commercial district there. We're definitely going to toss this city away after a little experimentation. Although I played the tutorial, sometimes you can kind of just figure things out by just reaching around wildly. Okay, yep, so now our wood's being sent out. Two new buildings, cool. Yeah, that looks weird though, that that weird triangle. Like I want to be able to build like, you know, a ring. Well, a square ring. A ring to rule them all. Okay, so now we can do garbage with the main collector here. So I'm assuming the The collector will collect it from the buildings and then the 
zone garbage is like a garbage dump that we have to zone. New member, welcome. Oh no. It takes wood to zone for garbage? Oh boy. Oh no. Sam, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg as well. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for clicking the tab of the join button. Enjoy all your new perks. Members, we have a pickup in the chat. Bum, bum. So now we can do the same with the uh, clay and clay bricks. Lack of vegetables? No. And there's a lack of fruit. No. Okay. Given what I just learned, I'm going to go ahead and redesign my whole city now. We're going to start from scratch. So this is a good little, little taste of what's to come. We're going to start very small. Looks like there's a lot of good wood up in the northern section of the city, too. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so this is... Kate Barrington, Raptor. Oh. Thank you. Okay. So Apparently we can't pause the city, we can only go slow motion. Alright, so let's start very small. So we're really going to start with like a little town. Okay, so roads... Can we flatten the terrain first? Uh, yeah, I guess we could. Oh, it might be really expensive. Uh, there's no, like, flatten option? Oh, we can play C- oh, that's cool. Oh! We can build our own little um, scenes and stuff. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. GD, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. New member? Wow. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to build a road here. Oh, they build a little port. Build our port over here like we did last time. And we need farms too, so that's going to be important. We had a small or a large port, that's cool. So you can build a port all the way there? Yeah, I want to do some terraforming. I don't know how expensive that'll be. I think we'll just kind of try to get the basics down. Oh, 
Well, that looks fine. That's good. Okay, so there's our port. And then let's have a little city here. Okay, that's looking cute. Okay, that looks cool. All right, now let's do some farms. Do farmland over here. I'm assuming the farms kind of work like a building that you just place down and it farms within the area. Oh, farm has to be... Oh, I see. Okay. So a farm takes up the entire area that you've ordered off for it. So if we make it like this... This can all be farmland then. I like that. Oh, it needs its own roads. Okay. So then we can build it like this. I wonder if the more advanced roads will take materials to build. That'll be a lot more logistical. Where it's like, yeah, you want to build a big highway, but unless you're producing uh, enough... Um, Unless you're producing enough, uh, oh, well, like clay or iron ore or something, it's not going to work. Oh, there we go. So like 200 meters by like 406. Ah, nice. That all becomes a farm. Oh, that's cool. 7.8 hectares. But I don't know how much food that has potential to make. Wow, that's a... Wow. Let us pray, chat. Oh, is that a cow? Holy cow. Oh no, that's just a bunch of bull. Okay. Well, I think I just made a farm big enough to feed the world. Wow. Okay. I hope they grow a few different types of vegetables than just like that. Okay, um... Ah, oh, but then nothing can be built on this farm road. I can't, like, build houses here? Nope. Hmm. Shortage of jobs. Well, that's fine. We're just starting. Well, that means, though, that we could build the turbines by the farm, and they probably won't care. Although, do they need to be connected to a road? I guess they can be built wherever. But we'll build it by the farm. We'll start with one. 
Yeah, the cow is for free. Free fertilizer. That's right. Free fertilizer. Okay, let's do... Okay, so we have 57 wood. So let's start with the... Logging sections first. That's a lot of cabbage. Damage! Damage! I mean cabbage. Let's start with one logging camp. And then one shipping company. Hmm, doesn't show you... Doesn't show you range, though, before you place it. But that will ship to the port, farm, and the logging area, so that's good. Okay, so let's start with the, the one there, and let's do some... Uh, Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. That's just telling us that there's a lack of jobs, which makes sense. We haven't done anything. We're kind of building a little bit more small scale, aren't we? I guess that's fine. Uh, too much planning, can he just let it play for a bit? Well, if I don't zone buildings, the buildings won't get built. If I don't zone for offices, offices won't get built. If I don't put down power lines, then nothing can get built. If I don't put down water, no one will move in. If we don't build the lumberjack yard, these things have to be done before people will move in. Or they can move in and they just won't have power, water, food, or anything to sustain life. I know you're eager, but you just need to be patient, that's all. Just chill. We'll get it. businesses there, a couple homes here. Alright, so that's the extent of our building. Let's try another logging camp. Okay, let's see what happens now. Yep. When turbines getting built. Well, I hope that's enough to build the port. I hope we have enough power. Everything just needs to be connected to power, and then the workers will move in for there. All 
Okay, good. Water tower is now connected, so water should be distributed. Yo, RMM, good to see you in the chat. Welcome back. Welcome to the Big O stream. Good to see you. Alright, so now workers should move into the city. I tried to build these a lot smaller, but they still seem a little too big. Also, with perfect squares, it looks like there's a lot of wasted space. Alright, this is much better than our first run, that's for sure. Can the town survive without a Dollar General or a Wendy's? Oh, yes. Oh, these are nicely detailed buildings. Do you like my city uh, skylines layouts? Oh, that's good. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks for all the likes, too, chat. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello, good to see you all. Alright, let's see if we can import stuff. Actually, we need... Okay, let's do a little less farming. That way people can go logging, then we can build more houses, and that'll solve the workplace problem. Ah, you can control the reach, too. You can tell carriers to go further, but it'll take longer. Interesting. I wonder if you can uh, eventually pick whether or not uh, traffic drives on the left or the right. Hey man, brother. Tucker hats at work. Oh. around the cabbage farm. It's pretty cool that things are detailed enough, though, to actually have a lot of stuff inside them. Well, except for everybody's up to their... up to their shoulders in concrete. But there's still forklifts around, houses, storage areas. That's cool. Oh. 
Bad day for that guy. Okay. So now we have a little bit of wood. Let's continue to increase homes. Alright, so the lumber yards are actually producing wood. Carriers bringing them back. Oh, there's a bus? Oh. Huh. The bus line goes from one side of the street to the other. Imagine getting on the bus, pulling a U-turn, and then just going to the other side of the street. Okay. Sure. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get all this wood and then start making more and more homes, and then that'll allow us to get more workers to do more work at the lumber yards. And then we can build more lumber yards, which means more wood. Perfect. Would you believe that, chat? Would you believe that? Good times, yeah. And our population is at 256, so more people are moving in. Okay, we can beautify the city with decorations. Cool. Let the good times roll, baby. Oh, we have one wood. Would you look at that? Oh, yeah, cool. So the truck, truck actually pulls up and delivers wood. That's cool. That'd be a cool feature in City Skylines, too, where it's like, oh, yeah, you want to build this hydroelectric dam? Well, you can't build the dam without all these materials. And it looks like you got a big traffic problem, so you better do that first. Yeah, we could build City Hall, but I don't know if it'll take workers. We're going we're gonna to start slow, though. It seems like this will be a little better if we start slow. Slow is fast. Good. Good. Yeah, that's the best route I've ever seen for a bus. Can we build the airport like the new DLC? Well, this isn't City Skylines, this is called High Rise City. And we do have a full playthrough of building a city from scratch for the airport DLC for City Skylines. So if you want to see that, and if you want to see more features on the uh, airport DLC, make sure you check the channel for a video that we did covering all the new stuff for City Sky Skylines uh, airport DLC. And also a live stream of us building a city from scratch and building the airport along with it. It was actually, look, I'm kind of a noob at City Skylines even now, but the, the airport that I made, really good. I was really proud of that airport. Yeah, thank you. I thought, yeah, I thought it was a good airport too. Thank you. Okay, so now we can build a fruit farm, clay pit, brickyard, zone, zone garbage, local garbage collector, and a funny farm with chat's name on it. Okay. Okay. Now we need to provide food to the people. More, more food is needed. Are these guys picking up food or just... No, just, just the lumberjack for now. How many people work at the lumberjack? 12? Oh, we can build more, way more of those. Let's build a little road. A little further in there. What? Oh, there it goes. Okay. 
Let's get more people. We need more workers. And let's increase the farm. 100%. a garbage power plant. Nice. That's cool. Okay, another windmill being built. We're going to need to manufacture tools soon. Reminded me of Banished a little bit. Just a smidge. Oh, so each one of those is tons. Okay. I'm assuming some, some buildings probably take three or four tons to be built. More complex buildings probably take multiple materials. I think we're producing enough power. Alright, so our goal is going to be to fill all this in. semis that's cool a museum building in the game there might be more educational buildings we just haven't unlocked them yet right now we're kind of things are a little slow it's just a tiny town but eventually we'll build up big o but uh, i'm assuming just like how it is in city skylines the bigger our city gets the more things that'll unlock over time Good, we're getting a lot more wood now. And we'll do more com uh, commercial buildings. We got about 532 people in the city. 16% unemployment, not bad. Considering that we're just starting. We'll have to start working on garbage stuff here shortly. Maybe we could put garbage uh, up here. Not too far from the city. But far enough away where it doesn't sh give us the stank. Yeah, we'll build it somewhere along here, somewhere. Okay. I liked how the farm is kind of on the edge of the forest. That's nice. Now, I wonder if the trees actually disappear if they regrow. We're producing a lot of wood, but I don't see the 
forest actually being like deleted, but I assume if we build in there it'll be less trees and less trees probably mean less production of wood, so we should probably not build up anywhere up here anymore. As, unless we're going to build more lumberjacks or whatever. Lumber mills. Let's keep keep building new homes, new businesses. Oh, office buildings look nice. If I start to run out of money, don't forget to call JG Wentworth. 877 cash now? Wow. Eight se uh, actually, I think that was one of the lyrics was actually 877 cash. Wow. JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. Cash wow? Cash now. Or something like that. Soon, chat. Soon. No. Okay, so now it's uh, March 29th, 2000. Oh, here's the milestones here. Okay, so it is based on population. So ne Oh, next we unlock a coal-fired power plant, gas power plant, medium wind turbine, small solar power plant, small church, police department, fire department, bank. F oh, there, you, there we go. Four lane and six lane roads. Okay. And then also tax settings. Oh, we can take out a loan and then trading is also unlocked. Okay, so we better put all of our uh, resources into expanding the city. So, let's keep expanding. Hey, ones in chat, if you guys have ever tried to recreate the town you live in in a city builder. Anybody here ever play a city builder and try to recreate your own town? I know I have. I've also tried to um, build uh, my... Places I've lived in, um, in The Sims, and, um, I've also used terrain editors to build places that I lived to in games that weren't city builders, but, like, I, I tried to build the landscape in which the city was built on, like, rivers and things like that. Yeah, ones? Oh, you've tried to? Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely done that before. I've definitely tried to build my, like, all my cities. It's kind of interesting to uh, the the trouble though is that you kind of have to build that in sandbox mode because a a game will work a little differently than like what your city is set up in real life. Like you know some cities have tons of bike lanes and buses and maybe a metro, but if you build your city in in city skylines that way, maybe no no one will use the way the metro is set up in real life. You know. Bum, bum. Am I getting gray hairs on my temples? Uh, probably, yes. I think it looks worse on camera, but that's what happens with age. I'm getting old. I hope chat still thinks I'm cool if I get a gray hair. Does that make me irrelevant on the internet now? Oh no. Bum, bum, bum. Well, let's make some more businesses. Yeah, we need much more lumber. It looks like they're making a bit of garbage too. we build up here? I 
just want to make a nice, even road here, please. Oh, well. We'll just leave it that way. It's fine. Really not much traffic up there anyway. Uh, the population is up here. And we just hit 750, which means we unlocked a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that I've lived or Tucker hat. Both, brother. Both. Uh, let's do more houses. Kind of weird, the house layout, honestly. This seems like it's just so messy. Maybe, though when we get a bigger city maybe the upgraded roads will spawn like medium density apartments although it looks like the game's already making maybe apartment buildings or they will we'll see Oh yeah, so now we have the fa- okay. So the six lane road also allows them to travel at 80 kilometers. A little road that way. I do like though how the farm has a road around it, but it is a little confusing though that you can't build on the road in which the farm is. Like you can't build on the other side of the road, like here. Hi Tan, good to see you. Like I can't build up here. But I can build here, which connects to this road. Kind of weird. Hmm. Next milestone, then, is at 1,200. Oh, we unlock some factories now. Textile and furniture factories. An elementary school courthouse. One-way, two-lane road. One-way, four-lane road. Although those are literally... Oh, those are here. Sheep farm. Oh, I was reading this stuff at the bottom as if, as if it were the top. My bad. Oh, now we can unlock a new region, too. Credit new region. It's uh, zone employees. Zone op. You mean workers? Oh, residential? I don't know what... I don't know how that differs. Uh, parks, sheep farm, textile factory, furniture factory, elementary school, courthouse, and then the roads. Okay. So we're getting more stuff. Bum, 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 bum. We probably will need a new power plant soon. Well, hi, Tan. I'm glad you popped in to say hi. How's it going? Good to see you. All right, let's build a clay pit. Okay, so a clay pit's going to require tools and wood. And same with the brickyard. Okay, so we'll have to save for a little while. But if we're going to do that... We probably should get some more workers. What do we have for unemployment? Oh, 25%? Okay, we're good. We'll have to see where clay can be placed. Is there restrictions to that? Clay is pretty common, but it might matter. Oh, yep. Okay, so it can only be built up here. Alright. That's cool. Nice. 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 All right, let's wait for a little bit more wood to come in. I guess another building material we could use is probably hot pockets. If we use hot pockets, they're, you know, we could stack them together kind of like Lincoln logs, make a very strong structure. Strong. Very 
very strong. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're listening to uh, SimCity 2013's music for this game. It has its own music, which is cool. But I just kind of felt in the mood to listen to this for a little while. Bum, 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 bum. How am I doing? I'm doing good, Adrian. How you doing? Welcome. All right, we got 37 wood. That's enough to start building some clay factories. Or clay pits and brick factories? I guess we should put those nearby, huh? So. Okay, that's cool. We can kind of build it a little off the road, it seems. That's kind of nice. Let's build two of those. That's not even that far off the road. That's fine. Oh, that kind of looks cool. All right, let's build a brick factory now. I don't know what the ratios are on this, like how many bricks to how many... Or how much clay to how many bricks, but... We'll just build that like that. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Okay, yep. Okay, we're going to start seeing some fires now. We have a gas power plant or coal fired. I don't think we're big enough yet for that. We'll build one more small turbine, I think. on the same side. Oh. I'll just build it there. And then we'll build a medium plant if we need to. Bum, 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 bum. Have we built a boat and shipping docks? Yeah, there's a port here. Um, I think we can export garbage? It looks like it stores garbage for a while. Or, or that is making garbage. Okay. Uh oh, how do I D zone? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Um More houses, cool. What is that? Oh, the water. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Eric B? How you doing? Welcome. Yeah, these buildings need power, but we are making electricity. Yep, more windmills. Ah, they're cheap and easy for the start. I, I don't... I can't really tell how much power our city's using, so I'm not sure... I don't know where to find out. Each of these is making two, so... Uh-oh, and we need water over here, too. Hey, a, a person with a red eye? Oh, is that is that new? 
Has somebody hit their new membership milestone? Oh, man. We need to... Uh, oh, we need uh, trucks to come pick that clay up and stuff. I think maybe we'll make another truck factory for that. Yeah, let's build another building outside of town. The other one's pretty busy with the amount of lumber they're taking. There's quite a few businesses there now. We've got six of them. Are you too broke to join membership? Oh, that's totally fine. Yeah, don't don't become a member because uh, any other reason than that you want to. Membership is totally cool, and we'll we'll do giveaways for everybody and their support on the Discord if we hit our goals and stuff. But I mean, if we don't, that's that's cool too. We're just here to check out new games and hang out and have some good memories and stuff. It's all good. You can always smash like for free. You can always say hi in the chat for free. You can always subscribe for free. You can. Turn on the notification bell for free. You can chat for free in our Discord. You can ask questions for free. You can um, maybe possibly join me for free if we play a multiplayer game in the future. Lots of cool stuff you can do. That only just takes a little bit of time, I guess. I mean, no nothing is truly zero time, zero money. But, you know, you either pay with time, money, or both. And in this case, thanks for spending some time here today. When you build the city... Uh, what can you do with the city? Well, it seems like the, the fun in this game is building the city, just like how it is in City Skylines. Although, this is a little more restrictive in terms of like, oh, if you're going to build a city, you need to have materials to do it. Like, a house just doesn't, you know, you don't just buy a plot of land and a house just kind of comes up out of the ground. Like, you know, materials have to be delivered. So this one does a good job of simulating, um, especially at the start here, like materials that have to be brought in. So we got our lumber mills and stuff here churning out lumber to start building all these houses and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. Um, now, I don't understand how that brickyard's going to work. It needs a warehouse. Hmm. Well, we better start dealing with garbage. This is just City Skylines 2.0. I think, I think honestly, now it's like without... Okay. But I feel like city builders nowadays have to be like... They have to have the, the heart and soul of like a previous city builder. So it's like games nowadays are either like... They're either like Anno 1800 slash Tropico or they're like City Skylines trash uh, slash Banished. Not trash. I'm, I'm thinking of trash because <laughs> this building that I collected. But uh, no. Uh... I think it's impossible to make a city builder now without being inspired by other games. So there's like elements that you recognize from many other games, but they all have like a little unique twist on them. So it's almost like it's almost like playing a heavily modded game, but it is a new game as well. And there's something about like independent developers and stuff making games that's kind of cool where it's like yeah, we were definitely inspired by this when we made this or something, and so it's like it's kind of, you know, it's kind of unique that way. But if we don't support uh, new, de you know, if we don't support new ma game makers, we're just going to end up with uh, EA all the time. And so we need. I mean, I would rather buy games that support one or two or three people, or or you know maybe smaller teams. As well as some of the bigger games, too, you know. Like, a lot of people playing Elden Ring right now, but a lot of people out there playing a Hydranir or Ostrave, which is made by one, two, three, four people, you know. Lots of games made by just a couple people who are just passionate. You can tell when, pe when people are passionate about making a game, there's no amount of money. There's no amount of money that can buy passion. If somebody's just straight up passionate about making a game... I mean, so long as they have the funding to, like, buy all the stuff they need to do it, but then whether or not it's uh, successful or not, that's just something else. It's like, for example, um, Stardew Valley. Like, Stardew Valley is clearly taken inspiration from Harvest Moon and a few other games like that. And if you look at how Stardew Valley used to look at the start versus where it is now, how much the developers added to it and tweaked things and redesigned characters a little bit, you know, doing, doing slow tweaks over time, that's just pure heart. So whether or not that guy... 
earns a million dollars or 50 billion dollars or whatever it's like i don't think they care they're gonna keep making games no matter what you know once somebody can pay their bills and stay home to then just continuously work and code and design and uh tweak even if it's like a city builder and stuff like that that's cool and they could go on to make some amazing games like for example um brothers a tale of two sons those developers went on to then make a way out and then now made it takes two which is was like game of the year for last year three games they went from like indie dev with a pretty cool idea to an indie dev with a really cool really really cool idea to like a mind-blowingly wow you know what i mean it's crazy yeah terraria is uh, on the channel very good game i like terraria all right looks like we're not making any bricks what are we missing here Workers, 20 out of 20. Maybe this needs to be full first? Oh, maybe they need a lot more clay before they can make bricks. Oh, and apparently there's electrical problems. Uh, let's make another... Ooh, oh, we can make a massive turbine over here. Let's do that. Wait, can I build a small one? really but yeah it's cool to see it you're uh, d diversifying uh, your support for stuff you know like I want city skylines to succeed as much as I want this game to succeed because they do different things and it's I don't know it's all good little success here and there for different things is a good thing Northgard. I haven't checked that game out in a long time. I guess I'll have to go back and try that one out again soon. Wow, that is a massive wind turbine. Whoo. Okay. Alright, I think we need to make much more... Yeah, we gotta build much more clay, uh, clay pits here. Good chat. I'm glad you agree. Okay, so we unlocked all that stuff from before. Now, what's the next unlock? All right, the next thing to unlock is Lumberjack. Oh, that must make more lumber? City Carrier, that must carry more stuff. Medium Warehouse. Oh, there we go. Oh, and a Research Center. So now we can unlock bigger and newer stuff. Iron Mine. Hospital. Okay, so now we have a Tool Factory. Oh, okay, so now we can start mining iron, smelting it at the Charcoal Factory, and then... Or that'll probably supply... Oh, no. The iron mine will supply iron ore. The charcoal building will supply coal. Together, they'll make iron, and then those can be made into tools. Okay. Although, I don't know what's up with the... Um... I don't know what the small water pump is. Oh, I guess the pump is an upgrade from the water tower. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have job shortages. Ooh, 29%. Not good. Oh, to build medium stuff, we need bricks. Okay, well, let's let's go work on the brick stuff, then. We can get some jobs going with the clay factory. What's up, Gunnar? How you doing? Oh, these are one-way roads now. Okay. We can purchase new land. Cool. Hi, Gordon. Okay, let's build more mines. Uh, yep, we'll be playing Pharaoh a little later today as well. Okay, so if you disable the snap... Okay, so disabling snap allows you to be way more effective with your use of space. 
since there's so much clay here. Eighty percent's pretty good. We'll build more that way too. All right, so now the brick factory's working. Nice. And we'll build another one across the road. Nice. How am I doing? I'm great. Having a, having a good day hanging out with you guys today. Oh, there's a lack of fish. Okay. <laughs> People are mad that there's no fish. Must be the Swedes. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got our vegetable farm going. I guess we should do a fruit farm. Okay, this is fisherman, so I'm just going to build this by the water, because I'm not sure if it needs a dock or not, but I could only imagine that it requires a dock. Um, I think I'll build it over here. Wait. Yeah. You're a big fan? Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. More, I need more big fans because, you know, we got to have as much power as possible. So if we could get some more fans in the stream, that'd be great. Make sure you guys are connected to the, to the grid so that way you can uh, put a little back into the city. Am I and chat going to make clay pots together like Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore did in Ghost? Um, I mean, that's going to have to be the uh, Raptor Ultimate tier. And Billy, I think you're actually at that level, so... Let me know what time you're coming over. Alright, game saved. Good. Oh, um, we'll need fish to be transported too. Okay, that's within the trucking company's range. I do like the idea that we have to do the whole trucking company. It feels... I feel like City Skylines is a lot of, like, leading a horse to water but you can't make him drink kind of thing without a ton of mods for the traffic. Like... All the people who have, own a car in City Skylines are just dumb. Like they don't, you know, you build you build a turn lane, you build two turn lanes, and everybody just goes into one turn lane, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, there. Of course, there's mods, but you just wish, you wish there was just a mod to just have people have a brain. Wish that in real life too, but you know, oh, we're losing a lot of cash here. Uh, I suppose we can set up trading now. Oh, how are we doing with garbage? I guess it's working, but there's not much trash. Okay. Bum, bum. Oh, that sounds cool, Visual Warlock. I will check that out. All right, let's open the trade menu. So, oh, okay, so we can buy and sell stuff now, but we're really not making anything that I want to buy or sell. I think we should just kind of keep making... I guess we'll make more money when we eventually have enough goods to sell to the people. We can do a, a larger office complex. Let's do a little... A little more major city over here, maybe? That took 61 bricks to build that? There seems to be no visual difference between the zoning for the offices. We'll make a large office district there. Try to fill more space with roads before we expand too far. A lot of these games too is about keeping like neighborhoods kind of condensed at the start so you can kind of try to get everybody under the same... You know, like if you build one school, it has a service area and you want to make sure everybody has that under there. Do we have a Discord? The link is down below in the description. What? Do we have a problem with power again? Is there, there must be a way to see the power. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, it fluctuates quite frequently because of the wind. I can't tell the... D okay, consumption was 10,000. Production was 11,000. Okay. So we're going to need a little bit more power. Power overwhelming. Ooh, look at that purple epicenter. Ooh. How much is solar? That's probably another problem, too, is that we're going with a pretty expensive option. Coal-fired power plant is only 2,220. But, uh... Well, the solar plant provides 10,000. Okay, that's more, that's more than the medium. Oh, boy. Big building. Uh, is there nuclear? There's, there's probably nuclear power. Yeah. We'll just need to unlock it. Oh, we did unlock a research center, so we'll have to see what we can do to generate... So this game also seems to have research points, which is kind of neat. That's one thing I liked a lot about City, uh, SimCity, is that there was a reason to, like... You actually had to... In your city, you could research, like, nuclear power and some other stuff by, like, paying for it to be researched, which was kind of cool, because... Your university and stuff that you built mattered, and I, 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 want, I want City Skylines to do that too, where like buildings that you can build in your city just increases by, uh, you know, like putting more people into school. Or like researching stuff, putting time and money into projects that actually matter. Let's try a solar plant down here. All right, that should solve the power problem for a little while. <laughs> Don't blame you, you Swedes for the fish. You're the ones who want them, you're eating them all. This just looks like a dry dock. Oh, they are making fish, though. Okay. Yeah, you gotta keep the Swedes happy. Otherwise, no more Ikea. And then that means no more no more college students can afford co uh, dorm furniture, and that means... Well... Uh, do I have anyone I look up to for inspiration? Um... Well, in terms of making videos and stuff, not really. At this point, I've kind of created, um, we, we have our, I have a team and we have networks of people who kind of like, uh, forward information to me on up and coming stuff. A lot of developers just reach out on their own. Um, so at the start, it was just the passion of gaming and now it's just kind of like, uh, kind of more of a game now as to like, see how many, uh, you know, like, how many people will be interested in a certain game. It's it's fun to see the feedback of putting out, like, a new video or a live stream to see how many people are interested in something and to, and to share that passion. Probably the most fun I had on the channel any time recently was, a, and by that I mean, like, by far the most fun, was when we were doing our Anno 1800 series. Anno is a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't really been as, like, interested in playing one type of game as hardcore since then and maybe, like, Metal War Assault Squad and War Game before then, but... Um, now that I've started to play more and more different games, it's definitely opened up uh, more avenues for just awesome experiences that I really like. Alright, looks like we need more trucks. Oh, we can upgrade it. Nice. Oh, that's the road. Um, oh, uh... Wait, these guys are going to pick up logs? Oh, they're picking up vegetable farm stuff. Okay. Well, let's shrink that a little bit. Oh, I can't shrink it because otherwise... Okay. I wish you could just tell them to ignore certain buildings.
Yeah, I want these. I want this trucking company just to focus on up there, but I guess we could build one specifically for that one, and that one can help. Oh, the furniture factory can actually make furniture from local lumber. Nice. And how's unemployment? Uh, oh, zero percent. But we're losing people, so. All right, let's get some more houses. Yep, we need to get more people in the city. And then we got to start making tools. It's hard to tell where the big problem is here. We're losing a lot of money, which means a lot of people. Oh, it looks like there's different classes, too. The craftsmen. I wonder how to make them happier. Oh, they want fish and fruits. Okay, so it's all based on food. Ah, but we need transportation for that. Okay, yep, so we need more transport companies. So, let's build a transport company here. So I guess if this if they go to this building, then this building can distribute it locally with no range limitations. I'm gonna double down because I don't want any hiccups. And then apparently everybody hungry, so let's do another fishery. Actually, let's do two more. And then let's do a vegetable farm, a uh, fruit farm. Oh, that takes bricks and logs. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Oh, there's a uh, shipping. Oh, is that coming in? Look at how much area we have to build in. Too, we we can build in all of this area. We just have to unlock it. Can build all the way around. Kind of interesting starting as a small little village, isn't it? The unemployment's at 12. Not bad. We're going to need uh, more local carriers. I guess we should build a warehouse now. Oh, we can build a courthouse too. Oh, we need to get to 1,500 people. However, apparently it thinks we only have 59. Uh, that's strange. We should be able to unlock... Maybe that's 59 remaining from when I clicked on it. The big area with the three windmills, it's a farm. It's for the Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay, so it looks like all of our carriers are full, so we need somewhere to store stuff. Which is interesting because we don't have access to a warehouse. I guess we could sell, but... Or traffic? Uh, a little bit. Okay, so as for power, we're making more than enough, right? Production 21. Okay, so we got about 10,000 watts remaining. Water, we're good. So power and water are good. Well, we can make spices in the city too? Damn. Cool. I wonder if we can designate what a farm can grow. Change farm model. 
Oh, it's all cosmetic. Ah, okay. Oh, we're back on... We're growing again. All right, well, we got to break even. So let's try to make enough uh, stuff here. And workers are at 17%, okay. make tools first too but I think we got to build big enough so we can actually start paying off our our taxes would increase the uh, taxes but Okay, so it looks like that's a good number of clay pits to brickyards. That's good. Well, we could probably build a furniture factory now and start exporting that for cash. And we also have access to a better and bigger lumber yard we gotta unlock it again okay hmm no furniture factory okay Oh, it's only a two by two. All right, we'll build two furniture factories there. This building is completely full of wood, I think. Yep. Or will be. Bum, 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 bum. Music's nice too. But that would be SimCity 2013. Okay, so those guys are taking lumber. Then can we do we set up one time trade deals or do we. We'll sell anything over like 10. I think that's how it works. Oh, we're, mo we're about to break even money wise. We're about to actually, <laughs> we're going to make money for the first time. Very nice.
very pog. What's up, MCK? How you doing? Welcome. Okay, I want to try to get some more people in the city. See if we can break even. We're only down $243, so that's not bad now. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Oh, and now we're finally positive. All right, brother. Oh yeah, this this road might be a little crooked or whatever, but it's fine. All good. It's just there for the port anyway. All right, so now we need to import more. We need more wood going out. So we need more and more logging to take place. Look at that, chat. Would you look at that? Buff buildings. What? Buff buildings. Planning office, tax office, small local warehouse, medium local warehouse. Huh. wonder where the research building is. put down an elementary school. I think we need to do some iron mining soon, though, because otherwise we're going to run out of uh, tools or we're going to have to import some, but that's probably going to be really expensive. And since we have 300 people unemployed, we may as well build a new factory for them. Funny, we built like a garbage dump here, but I don't see any. I don't see any garbage in the uh, thing at all. Let's see. Uh, Chris, thanks for being here, dude. Nice to have you with us. Okay, um, the next goal is to try to build a iron mine. I can't build that yet, though. So we're going to have to import at some point, probably soon. 
soon. Soon. A lot of our wood's being used by the furniture factory. And the trucking companies just can't keep up. We got too many supplies coming out. I'll build this one and see if I can keep it specifically for the lumber. Ah, uh, but it's impossible because of the farms there. I wonder if there's a way to just be like, hey, only service lumber. Like, is there a way to tell them only lumber only? There's a vehicle list, but... Building is being constructed. Okay. Change color. Hmm. Okay. That could be a nice feature. Where you could put two comp two trucking companies next to each other. Like in this case, we have a vegetable farm that's near a logging camp. I want one industry to only ship out the veggies and one to only ship out the lumber. So, you know, that way they can split the jobs. Mm. There we go. Just gonna let things kind of do their thing. Uh, sir, you must be loading. Oh, he's stun locked. Well, let's build another. Lumber mill? Hope he's not stun locked. <laughs> stun, 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 stun locked. Right, well, we'll build four more lumber mills there, and hopefully that'll bring enough lumber for us to make furniture for money. Looks like we're getting... Oh, good cash now. We got good cash coming in. Okay. So, let's start buying some tools, because it'll be a while till we can make our own. So, let's import tools up to... Let's do 30. Alright, so we're buying tools. I'm not seeing any boats coming in, though. It must just be a passive thing. I guess we'll know if we see 30 up there. Making a lot of bricks now. That's good. Raptorium Postal Service. Where's the office for them? Uh, I don't know. Uh, do we even have a town? I guess we do have a town big enough. Like 2,000 people? Yeah. That's enough to have a, a little post office for sure. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it feels like City Skylines and the Industrial DLC really tied together tightly. And we're making a lot of wood now. good. I 
Ah, okay. So each level of people want different things. So we're providing f uh, fruit and fish, but they also want what looks to be maybe... Is that bread? Yeah, bakery products. Okay, so we should probably do clothing next and fruit. So we need to do another farm. We gotta do a fruit farm. And we gotta do a... Uh, like a sheep something. Sheep farm, okay. Uh, so this has to be done how the uh, farm is done. Okay. How, much, how, how are we doing on vegetables? Like, is that enough? Consumption per week, one point, or point one seven. Okay. Current vegetable storage is seventy six tons. Ooh, we could start exporting some of that for extra cash. Go ahead and do that. Sell vegetables to thirty. Since we're not even consuming one. Uh, yeah, we need a factory, um, but we gotta we gotta have sheep first so we can make a textile factory from that. So maybe we'll do a little sheep farm here. I don't know why it tries to build a farm there though. Nope. I want it to be smart enough to build the farm on the inside of this. There we go. That's better. build? Maybe it's got to be bigger? Oh, lack of construction resources. Okay. Well, that's a big old sheep farm, but I suppose anything too big we can export, so that's good. That's going to smell lovely. Looks like we're importing tools, too, so that's working. And now we need a little factory for the sheep. Yeah, we have to... One of the things, too, we need to manage is the construction of, of additional pylons. If we don't, our uh, defense turrets won't work. And we'll be zerg rushed. Alright, and we built our little factory across the street. No, this is a, a game called High Rise City. Wow, that's a lot of frickin' sheep. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. How are we doing on water? I feel like we should have no water by now. Production. Oh, yep, we need more water. More water is needed. We'll build another small tower. Um, That's kind of nice. The solar panel... Some of these places don't need water. That's kind of cool. Okay, money is good. Population is 18% unemployment. Which will... Continue to resolve itself. Okay, let's do a fruit farm next. Maybe here? Or here, maybe. Or maybe here? Ah, uh, 
Ah, uh, you can't. Okay. Well, I can make this the. Oh. Uh oh. Oops. Oopsies, my bad. He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? All right, let's fire it up. Oops. I broke. My farm was too advanced. Cape Barrington. Oh, that's cool. It shows you a little mini map of it. Oh. Oh, it takes screenshots of your city as you as you build. Well, that's kind of cool. A little time lapse of the city growing over the course of an hour. Oh yeah, the city's really blowing up now. Okay, let's build a farm here. We'll do a vegetable farm. <laughs> Sheep farm looks like a cotton field. That's something. There's going to be some sort of a good materials in there. Let's just do 200 meters. As best we can here. There. Uh, yep. The fruit known as sunflowers. Okay. Hi there, Waylon. How you doing? All right, so we're growing uh, fruits and vegetables. We've got the fishery going. That's good. We're making clothing. That's good. The only thing we don't have is spices or bread. I, I guess we have to import those things. So let's ins let's import like ten spice. Ten bread. Oh, we don't have access to bread. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we can't do that yet. Okay, so... I guess what we really should do is just continue to make sure everybody's got what they need. So fruits will be delivered, so group one, the craftsmen, are going to be really happy. They'll have everything they want. Group two will have everything they want minus the bread, the baked goods, until we unlock that. So they'll be mostly happy. Yeah, this, I agree. The, spi the spice must flow. I agree. And that should create some more jobs, because we just built, like, two big O farms. build too far into the trees, though. And we're having water shortages again? Oh, this must have been before I built the water tower. Oh, wait, this is before I built the textile mill. Okay. We gotta build the textile factory again? And then the water again. Little little sip. Just a little sip. Okay, cool. So now we have more than enough water. Or we should shortly. Alright, so production is 10,000. Consumption is 7,000. Electricity is 21 with consumption at 16. Okay. Uh, wood, just need to increase that a little bit. Alright, let's delete some more roads. I don't want that to be so connected. Just leave that as a forest. 
You just ordered your uh, for, <laughs> your 2022 Ford Ranger Raptor Edition? Oh, good. I hope you used code Raptoria at checkout when you picked it up today. I hope you did. Keep on trucking, brother. Amen. I hope that's true. Velocity Blue should have it by April 4th. Wow, you, you're not kidding. Wow. that music from sim city it's good stuff i'm enjoying well, let's do some more houses by the coast do we have water down here yep all right we're making enough bricks we need more wood though can i build that advanced factory yet next milestone Next milestone is, oh, group two needs to have a population of 1,500. Oh, yeah, okay. So group two needs to be happier. And we're giving them everything except for the clothes. Oh, yeah, vegetable farm's working. Yep, trucks are picking up the veggie, or the uh, fruits, yep. Okay. Yeah, Tan, that could just be a permakill on that one. Are you allowed to play the SimCity 4 album? No, they don't claim copyright on that one. A lot of game makers will let, let their soundtracks just... They'll buy their soundtrack and then they'll own the copyright to them, but they don't mind if people use them because... I mean, imagine just playing a game with the music off all the time. Imagine playing every game you've played... But with no soundtrack. Like, it might be doable with a city builder to just mute the music and then, like, play your own favorite soundtrack in the background. You could do that with ATS or Microsoft Flight Sim. Those don't even have music. But, um, yeah, like, imagine uh, playing, um, imagine playing, um, trying to think of a game with a good soundtrack where it, like, matters. Ah, uh, like an Uncharted game. You know, like, with the cutscenes and the story and stuff having music in the background. Narrative stories. Those matter with the music and stuff. Yeah, Doom. Yeah. Good point. Oh, although I think Dune is claimed, though. I think Dune... Uh, sorry, not Dune. Doom. D-O-O-M. Doom. I think Doom does claim their music. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. Alright, uh, let's see. So it looks like the people don't... I, they don't want schools and stuff yet? Are we making clothing? Textile factory 5 equals 2. Ooh, we need a lot more... Uh, Carrier getting where? So the sheep farm. Okay, we're making clothes. It's just, it's taking a while to get to market. It just takes a while to make them. Okay. Well, at least we're over 50% happiness. Oh, and this number's going up too. Yep, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I 
And we're exporting furniture. That's given us some more moolah. Good. What are we making? Well, we're kind of building a fun little city here. Things have been going well so far. I'm going to build some higher tier homes here to try to get that population up too. But what we really need is a warehouse so I can hold more materials. Otherwise, it kind of... This game really kind of restricts how much you can build at a time, which does make sense. Like, you can't just, like, build up a massive area of a city with no resources. You can do that in city skylines. That's why you get those massive death waves all the time. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. music. Oh, there's actually SimCity 4 soundtrack now. Lovely soundtracks. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, SimCity 4 was definitely my favorite until, like, SimCity 2013 came around, and then I was like, ugh. And then the uh, City Skylines came around, and I was much happier. Uh, we can start mining when we hit our next milestone. We need 1,500 uh, level 2 villagers in the city so we're wait we're waiting for the supplies and stuff to be delivered it looks like we might need more wool i don't think the sheep farm's big enough to keep up with production i guess we got to build another uh sheep farm we can build another one here no we can't because well maybe we can no 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 i can't We have our vegetable farm, fruit farm, or fruit farm, and then sheep here. There's cows and horses in our sheep. They're mixing together. Don't get them confused now. Right, let's build another farm. Bum, 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 bum. We have tried Sturm for your PK's mods for Gates of Hell House Front Delta Force. Are you watching the channel? There's quite a few Gates of Hell videos out there with Sturmfuhrer PK's video uh, mods in there, including the recent one on uh, 91 and a few other things too. Make sure you check it out. Oftentimes people will jump in and tell me what I should play, but don't actually watch the channel, so make, make sure you do. You guys are missing out on a lot of stuff by not subscribing, turning on the notification bell, and checking the channel every day. So make sure you do that, because otherwise you're missing out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Don't miss out. farm there. You're new here? Well, that's fine. Welcome. We need a brown bear farm? Oh, no. Come on. Now, now, brown cow. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, what's up, Eric? We're keeping you company while you're at home? Oh, good. Glad to keep you company. We have a power issues again. Nope. 
we're okay on power. You mostly watch me every day? Well, good. Thank you very much for your support. A lot of your streams and videos don't get recommended for some reason. I've been subbed for years. Hmm. Hmm. You're telling me YouTube's manipulating in the background what you see and do on the plat now that that doesn't sound like a massive corporation that I know. Okay, we're making a lot of good clay. Okay, more homes. Okay, now we gotta do um, more businesses, but we're not making enough bricks. Kinda maxing out on our clay production. Two workers there, 50 workers. Okay, so we got a hundred people in working as sheep farmers and another sixty working at the textile factory. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just have to import uh, fabric because we're just not making enough. It'll probably be cheaper to import fabric than it will be clothing. Let's import like ten. Actually, let's import like fifty. Once we have a full stock of it, then we can just... Ah, 54 is fine. Once we have a full stock of stuff, we can um, eventually just scale up our production of textile. Cool. You retired so you get to watch every day? Well, that's good. Thanks for watching. some more businesses. Okay, how's unemployment? Oh, 11%, not bad. Getting better. Yeah, the music's 10 out of 10, but remember, this is City Skyline soundtrack. Uh, sorry, this is SimCity 4 soundtrack right now. What is this stuff? Ah, oh, research points, okay. Two... Unlock. Okay, we got we got to build a research institute. What's up, John? Thanks for joining the stream. Glad you enjoy our community. Thanks for being a part of it. Oh, research center needs to be unlocked with more things unlocked, or well, more milestones unlocked. Okay. Oh, come on. That should fit in there perfectly. Ah, there we go. This is Mr. Burns' house. So that's our town hall. 
which totally looks like a massive capital building. But okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. Wait, grid snap is disabled here, but it'll still snap to uh, nodes. Oh, I hate that. Wait, what about free? Let's try free. Uh, <laughs> it still tries to snap to a node. Oh, I don't like that. Well, let's delete all these. Looks like we get the wood back for it, too. Yep. Oh, very nice. Well, it looks better than it did. Certainly imperfect, but... There's a lack of fish, again? Into Fisk. Man, Sim City blows City Skylines out of the water for its soundtrack for sure. show. this will work. You played SimCity 4 last night. SimCity 4 is a wonderful game. There's so many, even if they're old, they're just wonderful. All sorts of great games out there. Even if they're old. I find the older games to be more amazing too because I think like our ideas of what a city builder or what a video game could be was were always big as, as people and as gamers. But the only thing that limited us was the technology. Like, if you look at how diverse the first Sims game was, the only thing that probably they didn't have was just, like, more, more and more time to actually build a massive game. So Sims 1 was, like, a... Sims 1 was a pretty good game. But 2 was even better and 3 was even better. And, you know, they kind of continue to do all sorts of feedback and really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a full version of the game. Uh, the game comes out in a month, so they gave me the current, like, latest press preview build. So I think this is a little different than the, the demo. But a demo for High Rise City is available if you want to give it a shot now. more offices we want more jobs unemployment is now at two percent not bad not bad it is lack of vegetables let's stop selling that all right how is everybody doing okay so the only thing we're missing out on is bread and we need more fruit Early, um, when it releases, I'm not, I'm not sure if it'll be early access. That's a good, that is a good question. I did not look to see if it's a full release or early access. 
Although I feel like a lot of games are still even early access as of now, you know? Elden Ring just came out today. I bet you a year from now, Elden Ring will have a lot of bug fixes, new content, new outfits, maybe a new boss. So is it like, is it really fully released today? I mean, I guess you could argue yes or no, you know? We need bread and milk? Okay. Oh, we'll just swing by the grocery store then, pick that up for the whole city. Like, hi everyone in the city, I'm heading to the store, what do you guys need? Uh, everything? <laughs> bread, milk, eggs, cheese, meat, some cereal, granola bars. Yeah, in about a month it comes out. But uh, early access or not, it's got a lot here that I like in terms of... Like, this is what I want to do in City Skylines. Is use all the materials in my city to build the city. I mean, that's a cool little concept. That's cute. Oh, I think that's a tier one. Can we upgrade to tier two? Yep. Okay. Hard to tell the tiers apart. Ah, uh, 25th of March, it'll be going into early access. Okay. I thought it said the 24th, but okay. You are probably right. All right, how are we doing with needs? I can't believe we can't import bread. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't see bread on the list. Uh, is there a different trading partner we can choose? No? Maybe if we build a different office or something, maybe we get access to more materials? Wasn't there a trading office? Oh, planning office, tax office, warehouse. Okay. Our people don't even want schools or any of that stuff just yet. Oh, there's not even 3,000 people, so... What about if we build a s Oh, park? Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Yep, a lot of you are recognizing SimCity 4 music. Y'all better recognize. And you do. City Skylines 2.0? Mm. Boy, I'd love to see what they have planned for City Skylines 2.0. I want I want the people who make Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo to make a city builder. I want a new City Skylines. I want want give. Give want. Uh, what? Not enough workers. Who who works at a swing set? <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I work down at the park. I, uh... I, uh... Yeah. I work down at the swing set. I give people... Uh... Swings, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's somebody to work in the parks department to keep it clean? Or mow the lawn? Wait. 
Oh, we have zero, zero unemployment. Everybody in the city has a job. Wow. Well, there should be more people in the city then. We just need more fruit. Alright, I'm gonna import more fruit so we don't designate all this land to farms. And we have nobody to work at the farms anyway, so... Yeah, that's right. They give people on the swings a push. True. Thank goodness for autosave. Yep, I like this feature though. I, I like the whole like screenshot of the city that you're building. There's a few games that do that. I think Frostpunk is one of those games where at the end of Frostpunk when you've beaten the level or whatever, or maybe even if you die, it like shows you your city being built over time. Oh baby. We're gonna place uh Frostpunk again. We're going to play Frostpunk again when the uh, when the second game is about to come out. We're going to do like a play through the base game again. That's going to be fun. Okay, let's import fruit. We'll export furniture to pay for it. I guess this is before I build the parks. Okay. I guess the parks are a bad idea. Bum, 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 bum. You thought I sold gasoline like the, what, the Sinclair dinosaur? The big old green dino? Now we're just importing fruit, waiting to see if it makes all the uh, people in the city happier. Looks like we got a lack of fish, lack of a few things. Oh, Galen, you're always smart, man. I love seeing you in the chat, my man. Good to see you back. He's like he's like me when it comes to coming up with funny ways to get chat to participate. That's awesome, man. Good to see you. Wow, look at all the clay pits it takes just to fuel like two um, brick factories. That's crazy. Oh, man, I love this music, dude. Chat, when did SimCity 4 come out? Was that like, what, 2004? Like, I, I feel like that was like 2003, 2003, Or maybe that was SimCity 3000. I know SimCity 3000 came out...
Hmm. Actually, I can't, I can't even remember when 3000 came out. Rush Hour was 2003? Oh yeah, the DLC for it. Wow. Oh, I love SimCity 3000 as well. I thought 3000 did some really cool stuff too. SimCity 4 was January 14th, 2003. Wow. Yeah, they came out with one expansion pack called Rush Hour, and then after that they started selling everything as like a deluxe edition, where you could, uh, oh boy. Hold on a second. He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? Yep. <laughs> You know, actually, um, I think, wasn't it, couldn't, in SimCity 4, couldn't you actually, like, drive a car, too, in SimCity 4? I think you'd, like, drive the mayor's limo around and stuff. Oh, right! Yes, SimCity 4 actually had, like, missions or quests that you could do, right? And like you could you could click on somebody's name and they're like, oh mayor, the town is on fire, and then you could drive the fire truck to like the 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 scene of the fire and it would make people happier or something like that. I think that was the thing. Yeah, it was top down view driving. Oh my god. Wow. That's old school, man. Well let's we gotta do a few more clay plants. We're just not producing enough clay or bricks. Oh, right. Yes, the driving missions would unlock, like, special buildings and stuff. Yeah, the school bus mission to unlock the private school, yeah. I can remember some of the buildings from uh, SimCity 3000, too, which I always thought was weird. Like, you could literally start a new city and then get access to something called the Giga Mall, which was, like, this massive mall, except there'd be nobody in your city. They'll be like, yeah, open this mall that no one can visit because nobody lives here. Oh my god, this music though. Oh, SimCity 4 hits different, baby. Oh, man. You know, actually, we've played a game recently on the channel called um, uh, Casino Tycoon or Casino Simulator or something like that. And they hired the same guy who did SimCity 4 soundtrack to do this soundtrack for the uh, for the casino game. And man, oh man. That's good. That's a good soundtrack, man. I want to hire that guy to do a soundtrack for me. I, I just want him to narrate my life. That's some good music. Oh yeah, you can fly helicopters too. Yep. Yeah. And then I think didn't SimCity Four also have like um, there were like placeable bad buildings that were like they were negative buildings, but they would give you money, like a missile silo or a prison. You could build like a big old prison, and they'd give you money monthly or whatever. But people in the city would hate it. I remember SimCity 4 was really hard for me to learn how to make money. Like, SimCity 3000 was okay, but SimCity 4 was like... Alright, you have a population of a million people. You have 20% taxes. Oh, did you just build a school, dude? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, you're bankrupt now. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, SimCity 4 was like, hey, did you, did you just build a city service? Yeah, I thought maybe having, like, a... A park bench here would be nice for... Oh, no, dude. Can't afford it. Bankrupt. Like, what? Every time I try to build something nice to give back to the people in the city, I'd be like, nope, bankrupt. Dude, did you build a two-lane road? Uh, yeah. Oh, bankrupt. Man, I wish EA didn't run SimCity into the ground. I, I I want some... Oh, could you imagine if Microsoft bought a few EA titles and we got a new SimCity? Oh, I would love that. Because then they'd come back with a new SimCity, it'd be bigger and better than ever, and then there'd be more competition for City Skylines 2, and then that, that would just make the next City Skylines better, that'd make SimCity better. There'd just be more competition, baby. I'd love that. That's good. Oh yeah, and you could manage multiple cities in in uh, City Skyline or um, Sim City as well. Yeah, that was fun. All right, um, we need. Wow, we're making a ton of money. Holy crap, we're making fifteen thousand dollars a week. Whoa. I wonder if I can increase people's happiness with. Um, this is resource consumption, but maybe if I build schools and hospitals, maybe that'll make them happier. 
All right, let, let's focus on our city uh, citizens' happiness, because otherwise we'll never get enough people. Uh, the next tier people. All right, doctor's office. Uh oh, we're having power problems. Oh, this music's so good, dude. I'll just build one over here. There we go. Lack of fish again? Jeez. I'm gonna have to build another port and import other goods from that. Wait, I wonder if you can do that. I don't... Uh, additional trading slots through the construction of further ports. Okay, so we can build another port to import more stuff. Okay. I think 180... Oh, 90. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, let's build another port down here. You hated most of the driving missions and a concrete truck would randomly spawn in your car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was annoying too, is like that was that was a game that really simulated traffic well. And the only thing we wanted to do was like build cool looking highways and drive around the city, but um, yeah, I can remember how that game would spawn traffic and you just you'd roll through an intersection and just get T boned by like a concrete mixer. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hey, but good game though. SimCity four is like if you've ever played that before, go back and play that one. Some good nostalgia. Probably a way harder game, too, because, like, you know, the game is a little more... There's a lot less accessibility options and, like, cheats, I suppose. Cheats. Not cheats, but, you know... Hey, if you want to play City Skylines with, like, unlimited money on because you want to build a beautiful city, that's not cheating. Cheat, cheating, I guess, is when you're playing a competitive game. Otherwise, you could consider every mod in City Skylines a cheat. Like, oh, dude, did you build a power plant that, like, produces more power for less money? Oh, dude, that's a cheat. Raptor's on for your cat to watch. You told your cat to clip if there's any funny moments. Awesome. Well, big shout out, seriously, XK, to your cat for the support, I guess. But that's fine to have a feline friend in the chat. Big shout out. What? We build another port, we only get one more slot for imports? Oh, no. Uh, what else do I need to import? Vegetables are looking okay. Um... I guess we'll just leave an extra port for whatever. Uh-oh. We better tell the garbage place to go pick up from everywhere. Okay. So now... Oh, uh, I think it was uh, fish that we were low on. No, we're good. Maybe vegetables, but we'll just leave it for now. I guess consumption fluctuates, too. Ooh, population's getting close to 5,000. Hoo-hoo. Fancy pants. You know what I really like, though, is that so far we haven't really... We have not purchased any other land, and we really... This game seems to be a lot slower at, at the start than City Skylines, which is totally fine. City Skylines, it's like you want to build beautiful areas and such, but this one's all about building. Oh, there we go. The garbage plant is actually picking stuff up. So where's our garbage? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's build a... Let's start working on city services. Doctor's office is probably really important. 
So we're gonna have to delete some stuff. Bum 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 There we go. Alright, so now we have a doctor's office being built, good. Now let's do a Small fire department, I suppose. It's not really even showing... It's not really showing an overlay for danger to fire. Kind of weird. Alright, let's do schools. Ooh, 77% happy. Oh, it's going up. Nice. Very good. Okay, the next thing is education. Build a school here. doctor's office and a school. Oh, there we go. 80% happiness. Good. I think the way we did it was great because we, we went from like $500,000 down to one hundred and two. So we really spent a ton of cash. Don't you go get stuck in the... Uh... Okay. Don't go get stuck in the uh, channel. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, water shortages. the ship's heading for the Suez. Hopefully not. Hmm. Nugs and hugs for all. Very good. Choose nugs and hugs. cities are in. That's the school? Wow. That school just looks like an apartment building. Or like a science lab on a campus or something. That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can do a police station. How's happiness? 80% for craftsman level 1. 66% for 2. 
Well, let's keep providing services. We'll do police next. I guess we'll build that over here. Well, chat, you know and I know, we both know that we all know what's going on outside the stream. But that's why I don't mention it, to give you guys some other place to just not worry about whatever it is you might be worrying about. I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on a lot of things that happen outside our streams, but... The streams kind of have to be like a... It's kind of like a bar, except we're instead of talking about your troubles, we kind of just try to talk about other things, so... You guys are... Totally okay to mention things like that, but I try to steer the conversation away from that. Otherwise, if I had a cooking, like, let's say instead of video games, I was doing cooking on the channel. And I was just making, like, a stew right now, or I was making, um... Hell, let's just say I was doing knitting, or we were talking about cars, or any other topic. It can always be brought back to all of the, the news of the day and things like that. It's so hard to resist that. It truly is. It... It's becoming more and more where you got, it, it is nearly impossible to just, you can't even go to the McDonald's drive-thru and come home without being bombarded by tons of things outside of just a normal everyday event of, well, let's, let's be honest, the Wendy's drive-thru. Nobody here would ever go to McDonald's. <laughs> but yes, sometimes I don't mention or focus on those things because... As a, as a gamer who has a gaming channel to, to play video games, I want to talk about those things with you guys too, but then it would be, it would change what the channel actually is, and I would want to, I would want to keep those things a little separate, you know? If I do a cooking channel, then I'd want to talk about food and maybe, maybe interlace it with games, like if I, if I had a cooking channel where I made uh, food from video games, that would definitely totally be a perfect crossover, but... And some things don't mix well, you know? Like, if we talk about uh, food and cars, it's like, maybe that could go together, but... But anyway, so for all the all the problems and the wrongs in the world, um, yeah, no, nobody here, unfortunately, has... Myself and, and I know none of you have the, the power to change any things, any of the things that are not right. And a lot of us know what is right, and how things should be, but sometimes that's not profitable. Sometimes that doesn't bring in the that doesn't bring power or money, and so thus it doesn't get done. But talking about those things might maybe make us feel better. But there's really no change we can bring about here in this little old gaming channel, which sucks. And if we talk about it a little bit, then we'll talk about it a bit more, and then probably too much. So. Uh, is that why you don't play the democracy game? Too many touchy subjects? Yeah, it's... Like, there was a few games that came out recently. Like, uh, I got emails for... Um, there's a game about... A game that just recently released called, I think, Not Tonight or Not Tonight 2. That has to do with immigration and the United States. Or there's uh, a game called I'm Your President which has to do about those types of things. It's fine if it's lighthearted and we're having fun, but I think more and more we're, people are finding it hard to separate video games and the real world where, you know, if I, if I run a... If, we, if you play Tropico, Tropico is all about fun, although there are some real political decisions that you can make in that game, but sometimes it's just fun to, like... If you have one opinion on something, it'd be interesting to play a game like City State 2 and do the opposite of what maybe your beliefs are or how things are actually done. However, our audience is pretty mature and adult for these things. Oftentimes, uh, the loudest voices have done the least amount of research, and so it just makes it not fun. 
So this is my escape as much as it is, it is your escape for certain things. But it's hard. It's hard. It's hard sometimes to escape those things. It really is. Yep. Yep. This is uh, SimCity 4 music. I thought we'd listen to this a little bit while we while we build our, build our city. So. So yeah. Anyway, going back to what I was just saying, though, if I don't if I don't comment on something, it's usually just because I'm trying to steer the conversation towards video games and gaming and New member, bringing you guys together, d despite despite who you are. Well, actually, I, I think we all have one thing in common: where if you if you've ever played a video game once, well, then you're a gamer, and that's something that should bring us all together. Whether it's Tetris. Or whether you played Solitaire once on like a Packer Bell from 1998 or something like that, well, then you're a gamer. You enjoy simulations, you enjoy building things and connectivity and stuff, and uh, people should be praised for their attempt to try to do rather than um, ridiculed for their lack of somebody else's skills or something like that. But the YouTube comments have certainly teached have uh, taught me uh, a lot of about where the world's going, boys. But hopefully we can make it a better place. You miss me playing Valheim? We might go back to Valheim someday. Wow, look at this. We're making lots of good money now. 22,000 population increase. 20% unemployment. Not good, but we just built a bunch of new offices, so that should be just fine. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be hard for me to ignore. Eventually I'm going to have to address it. I, I shouldn't say ignore, because I'm not I'm not necessarily ignoring it. It's just, it's like lying by a mission. I know things are happening, but I, I want you guys to be welcome here as a getaway. But yes, some of the games that we play will be affected by what's going on. Ostrieve and This Land is My Land and a few things. Yeah, silence does not mean ignorance, yeah. Well, maybe. That's why I don't talk about it, I guess. You were playing Ostrieve last night before bed? Awesome. Well, very good. Stabbing Joe Scarborough with the big 05. It's always beautiful in Raptoria. Absolutely, my man. We really haven't built that big of a city, actually, but it, I, I like how things are... I like the gameplay of this, of connecting things. Yeah, Ostrieve is a wonderful game. Uh, I think we should play that more. But on the other hand, to be transparent and tell you what I'm actually thinking, I'm really... I really don't know if I should, what I should do. I don't, I, you know, there are people that have chatted with me in the DMs before, like for example, the developer of Ostrieve, who's very nice and who's affected by what's going on, but I don't know how much, but I feel like I should do something, but is it inappropriate to ask? I don't know. I don't. It's always beautiful is Raptoria. Amen, brother. Oh, you fell in love with uh, Ostrieve and you bought it for Jessica B? Yeah. A lot of people came here because of Ostrieve. Uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, city builder game. Don't feel obligated to pass comment? Well, I mean, at this point, the, the people who um, support the channel the most are pretty much, at this point, most of the people who are in the streams are here daily. I know, I know there's people who are here just to New member, welcome. to watch this particular game, and they have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but... 
I don't know. Anyway, Ramsey, thank you very much for upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling. Thanks for your support, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, is there a certain game coming out that you're really looking forward to coming out? Um... Yeah, let me, let me think for a second. Like, what are the next big games that are, like, gonna drop? That I'm really interested in. I don't know if there's, like, one particular game down the line that I'm really... That I'm really, really, really excited for, but, um... Hmm. There's a lot of games that have come out over the last year or two that I really want to play with, like, I've really... I really cherish the memories that I've made with like Bradford and Alex and uh, Red and Jessica B and everybody who's jumped around and so I love making videos and such but I'm kind of more transitioning towards like enjoying just gaming in the moment and the absolute pure uh, hilarity that it, that it includes for example me and Bradford playing um the uh, Heavenly Bodies game the other day. It's like, that's that's just pure. That's just pure gaming right there. You're just here for the sunglasses? Totally fine. Keep keep it going, brother. Amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> Wondering why I haven't built a warehouse? Actually, I don't think we can still. Yeah, we haven't unlocked it yet. To unlock more buildings, reach the next milestone. We're almost there. We need to get 1,500 level 2 people, so we're, we're almost there. And then we can unlock the um, medium warehouse right there. Unless there's a smaller one I don't know about. We have a... Our, our, um, our city has a little bit of storage capacity, but if we just export what we have too much of, we'll be alright. So that's fine. Bum, bum. These perks confuse me? I know. Yeah, YouTube makes us, like, write up all these other perks, and to me it's just, like, most of the perks are just, like, uh, hang out in the Discord, giveaways for everybody, a couple of other extra things in Discord, and uh, some other maybe behind-the-scenes stuff that we'll do what, secret Wendy's stream. But other than that, you know. Oh yeah, colors? Yeah, that has to do with membership length. Yeah, how long you've been a member. True. How do we make bread? I wanna... We can't import bread? We can't make bread? I guess we have to research it. Alright, well let's get the city density up a little bit. If we increase density, that'll increase population. Try some level two stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Big O upgrades. Unemployed back to twenty percent. Let's build some more. Now yeah, we'll build some more offices in a little bit. Let's get that population up first. So milestone population is at s almost 1,200, so we need 300 more. That should be more than enough homes for 300. Just got to build them, brother. Amen. Hey, 
Yay! It worked. All right, City Carrier. Oh, that's a much bigger uh, trucking company, basically. And now we can build media. Oh, good, we've unlocked iron, too. Okay. So now maybe we have new imports? Poglad. New imports, Poglad. Ah, it is based on city level. We can't import bread still, but we can import <laughs> iron ore and a few other things. Okay. All right, so let's get the let's get some more jobs going. Our city looks kind of cool. I guess. It looks kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, you have to reach milestones to unlock certain things, yeah. So it's like how it is in City Skylines. Like, you can't build a... You can't build a subway until you get to a certain level. Then after that, you can build a Jersey Mike's and a Blimpy. Then maybe a Jimmy John's. Uh, I'm playing SimCity 4 music, yeah. I'm just playing this in the background. Kind of cool. Alright, so we got... Um... Lowering satisfaction. Oh, I wonder where the iron ore is on this map. Uh-oh. Oh, over here, okay. So now, this is why we would expand. I wonder where the copper is and stuff. Eventually we'll be able to make stuff out of copper. How far does the demo let you go? Um, I'm not sure because I haven't played the updated demo. This is kind of more of a earlier play test of it. This is a different version of the game. All right, we should probably offer more services to our people to make them happier. So let's do that. Oh, we need a lot more bricks. Well, I guess we could start importing bricks and stuff, so that way we could have more, uh... Let's import bricks. Wow, spices are incredibly expensive. Look at that. 4,200. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Well, let's get rid of the doctor's office. We'll upgrade to a hospital. So now we got a hospital going. That should increase happiness a bit. Build another school. Oh, that's a it's a farm field. Uh oh. Employment is at 19%. Let's build an iron mine. Oh, that's good enough for a start. Yeah, I'm starting to import bricks now so we can just build buildings um, faster. If we build, uh, 
Oh, we can build a church too. If we if we build buildings out of brick or higher tier buildings. Uh, then we can replenish it a lot faster. So this this increases our ability to replenish as we build on the side. All right. Looking pretty good. All right, so it looks like there's five tiers of uh, people. There's craftsmen, employees, then there's probably like engineers and some other levels of stuff. Since this focus is a little bit more on um, industrial. What else we got for buildings we can build? Oh, we've got the uh, research center. Okay, let's build that warehouse finally. That tiny building takes all that material? Jeez. Uh, let's build it center of the city. That's a pretty good spot. So once that's built, it will expand our storage capacity. Looks like the iron mine is working. Oh, wait. Maybe we don't have a... Oh no, there's a building connected to it. Lack of fish. Okay, we'll have to do more imports again. Oh yeah, they're mining. It's just taking a very long time. Yeah, the game auto saves, yeah. Yep. I could build another port just to import one more material. I will say, though, the buildings look really nice. I like the details. <laughs> Lol. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So now we have all these research points. Let's build some of these, like, end-tier buildings. Um, I want to build the research center. We just need 80 bricks for that. Yeah, we may as well import maximum number of bricks. We're using a lot of them now. Okay, so what we could do at this point, now that we've unlocked more territories, we could we could buy this territory up here and then just do farming up there. We could make a massive farming division. So that way we can solve the vegetable fruit problem. And then over here we could probably build to further our iron ore mining. Yeah, we have schools. Schools, hospitals, police. All right, let's build a research center right here. Build a big O research center. Then we can start unlocking more buildings. Wow, iron mining is very slow. We're going to need a lot of iron mines. Or advanced mining. 
Money's getting low, but look at that. We got plus 25,000, though. Things are just expensive. Population's increasing quite a bit. Good. Mostly good. Still no, no word on bread. Yep, that's going to be the name of our, our company, Big O Research. What are you researching there? Uh, Big O. Bum, 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 bum. Lack of power again. Okay, let's do... Well, it's getting harder and harder to avoid buying the big O power plant. Man, that's 50,000, though. But, let's do it. Oh, nobody's going to want to live near that. Ooh. Uh, all right, let's purchase some land. Does it cost money, or is it free? Oh, we can only buy one area. We'll buy that one. Oh, it's 50,000, too. Damn. All right, well, let's buy the coast. There's a lot more iron ore over here, so that's good. Okay, well now we can research stuff. Let's see what new stuff we can research. Uh, we can research. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's cool. That's going to make all of our buildings a lot more effective. That's awesome. Oh, wow, look at that. Fusion power plants. Very nice. Alright, early research. Oh, we can increase farm effectiveness. Let's go with that. Oh, it only costs... Okay, I see. It only costs a little bit. So research is immediate, but you need to generate research points with your university... Or your research center. Okay. Road maintenance, bridge and tunnels. Oh, trading capacity increase, production capacity, deep sea fishing, improved fertilizer, building cost reduction. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then we'll get that one as our last one. Oh, and we can we can upgrade it multiple tiers too. So some of them have like a level one, some have level two. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, we had like three hundred and something points, so. Uh, let's see. Industry air filter. Oh, mining efficiency. Oh, we need 30 for that. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right. So now we only have 10,000 bucks. <laughs> we need 50,000 for a good power plant. So it's going to be a little bit of time. Hmm. Okay, how much are we mining now? Well, it increased mining efficiency a little bit. And we can trade more things, maybe faster? That's kind of cool. Yeah, we started with like 300 points. I, I guess the research building might generate points somehow. Or there's probably ways to generate them. But we'll find that out in time. Okay, so we still have a power problem. But we need cash. But the gas power plant used to cost us 50,000. Now it only costs 40,000. So we just saved 10,000 10, bucks on that. And on many other buildings.
All right, the goal is going to be then to build the uh, advanced power plant so we can solve any power problems we have and then we can expand our city. We'll go with natural gas. Yeah, the research tree is pretty big. Um, take a look again. Oh, we can redu uh, reduction on zone costs. Nice. Close tax loopholes. Got a lot of stuff there. All right, 40,000, then we can build our gas power plant. Produces, uh, oh, we gotta build it like way over here though. We could do coal fired, but gas will produce 70. Now they both produce the same. But it looks like the pollution area of the uh, gas power plant is less. So there's the pollution of the gas power plant. And there's the pollution of the coal power plant, yeah. A little better, the gas power one. Love how you can build it, though, without a road. And then build the road later. Oh boy, now we gotta wait for money to come in for a while. We can also take out a loan. bank account limit. Not sure what that means. I wish I could see uh, chips dock at the ports, though. Now uh, money's bopping all over the places. We're doing all sorts of different imports. We're at plus twenty three thousand though. The only thing we're really exporting is furniture. Oh boy. Time for them tubas. Saxomophones. Saxomophone. So we need another 4,000 there. Music, music makes you want to play SimCity 4. No kidding, bud. No kidding. There we go, finally. All right, so now we have a connection to the gas power plant all the way in the corner. Well, let's take a look at city resources. Yeah, cool. Yeah, wow. We were we were struggling a little bit for power, but now that we've expanded, now we can start building some big buildings without worrying about power anymore. We could probably also get rid of some of these windmills and save us monthly on upkeep, so let's do that. Wow, vaporized. 
We'll keep that one, though. So that'll give us a little bit more extra spending money. Yeah, I haven't seen roundabouts or anything yet, but it could be in the research tier. I do kind of like how the game has research, but I wish it was kind of more in a university sense, where your city could work on projects to better itself. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, wow, 91% satisfaction for the, t uh, the base tier, people, and 90% satisfaction for the tier 2. Nice. Next milestone we're about to hit. Big Village. That'll unlock the planning office, which for whatever re Oh, that's what I was going to say. The planning office looks like a church. Yeah, that's because it is. Uh, leisure Building 3 and 4, a garbage power plant, city garbage collector, a church, grain farm. Oh, now we can start with the farming and the bakery. Okay, so now we can do farming. Grain farm, mill, bakery, all at tier... Whatever Big Village tier is. Eight lane road, one lane six... Or six way... Six lane one way. Small local warehouse and a planning office, which will probably reduce costs for building. All right, how's unemployment? 20%. All right, let's build some businesses. Little commercial district there, get everybody employed. And money's coming back in. Excellent. Lack of vegetables? What, the cucumber? Okay, so we're importing bricks again. We just need more. Yeah, there we go. More shipments. We got our brickman. Oh, now we need cash. Okay. All right, so at this point, what I'd probably do is let the game run for a while and just, like, generate a bunch of cash again. We could probably take out a loan, but we need materials to build a, um, a bank. But we just need for cash to come in for a while. We're making plus 30,000. That's crazy. And we just need storage to go up a bit with, um, with materials. Very good. Unemployment now down to 12%. Nice. Took out a nice amount of uh, unemployment there. Good. And a little bit more. Yeah, everybody in this town's eating lettuce. Got to generate some money for a while. Not bad. Not bad indeed. All right, let me make sure I save here just so the... <laughs> I don't want the autosave to crash. Uh, what do we call this? Yeah. Good. 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 Bum, bum. Okay, chat. We got to play a game of Did You Know? Did you know, chat, that you can download the demo for High Rise City right now? Yes, indeed. The uh, demo is free on Steam right now, so if you want to give High Rise uh, City a uh, try right now, you can. You can go ahead and jump onto Steam and uh, download the demo today. Wow, look at this. Looks like a ton of people are building. Population's going up to almost uh, 2 billion now. Wow. And we definitely helped out with that. 
All right, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here for now. Thank you very much for smashing the like on the way out to support the channel. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for clicking and tap and join and becoming members too. We'll uh, hopefully hit our member goal today and have another giveaway too. So if you haven't smacked that join button, if you were a member once before, become a member again. Help us to unlock more giveaways. If you've never been a member before, I'm sure you'll enjoy all those awesome perks. And uh, we'll come on back for some more of this uh, maybe sometime in the future. But definitely a good first little look there for a game that's... Um, the version we were playing is not like the full version that will release um, when it releases uh, later this um, later next month. So um, hopefully there's a lot more development on it and it gets even better. It was pretty cool though to build a little city and see it all come together. So I'll see you guys later for an Egyptian city builder known as Pharaoh A New Era. I think you'll really like that one. So I'll see you guys a little later uh, for yet another city builder. A big old day of building here on the channel. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Have a good one, folks. I'll see you in just a little while for our next big O stream. Goodbye.